Dear Leos, this is the weekly spread for you, the week from 18th till uh, 24th of May. The theme of the week and as advice of this, from the spirit, you have the judgment card. About deck what I'm using, you can always read below my videos. The judgment card, it means it can appear again something what you thought it's already uh, like it's over and suddenly this week you have it come up again and you can fix it, you can repair it, you can do something about it and you can change something about it. Also it say don't uh, blame anyone, don't judge anyone and don't uh, don't have any illusions by the way, about illusions, in the position of challenge, you have the card of illusions. This is the Seven of Cups. It's when we see things a little bit in the wrong way because of our emotions. Because emotionally, like we, uh, like, like something wrong with our eyes, and don't, we don't see things clear and how they are and uh, the advice don't have any illusions think and see things clear and fix it home family you have the queen of swords queen of swords yes like he she is a woman who can take revenge of you she is uh, very tough so uh, for some of you it can be of course your mother who is uh, like uh, trying to force you to something, trying to discipline you. Uh, for some of you, if it's your partner, I mean if you are man Leo, this, this can be your girl or um, wife. So um, she will be tough on you. If you are woman Leo, maybe and uh, you are living alone not with mother maybe it will be you who will take this attitude of the queen of swords and you will be hard on everybody because maybe this thing which will appear you know sometimes we don't want to fix some things and we just oh dear god no not again maybe you will just uh, be angry about this it can be also like that. Love and relationship. You have the Knight of uh, Cups. And the Knight of Cups, of course, it can be friendship, some romance, um, but it can also be some lies in the love relationship. And I don't know who lying you doing it or your partner is lying to you. Uh, for some of you it can be like you know you had some uh, you knew somebody some time ago and like you lost connection and you think oh, no I'll never see him or her again probably and suddenly this person appears in front of you and saying hello how are you? <laughs> so it can be some new romance of course but probably it can be somebody who you already knew once. Job, uh, career and uh, any kind of work. For those of you who uh, are not working currently, who retired or just uh, without unemployed now, this is things what we're doing daily. We're all doing something. And you have the four of cups this is uh, like you know you wish to have this emotional stability when it comes to work maybe for some of you it's uh, something happening uh, in your company and uh, it's not the, for the first time when it's some changes and you're hearing about them this week and like you feel a little bit unstable you want to feel this stability you don't want uh, you're afraid of these changes 
because uh, you're scared maybe these changes will bring something not very nice for you. And this card also saying don't try uh, to do a lot, try to do it in a good way, with a quality. Mm, not quantity, but quality. This card is talking about this. And also don't blame anyone. Uh, that I have been doing so many things at work. I have been like I didn't, I couldn't drink coffee for three hours, and she was just sitting. Because don't remember, don't judge anyone. This is your advice from the spirit in its uh, major arcana, so you have to be careful. Money situation you have the star card, and the star, of course, it's hopes, it's not just dreams. It's also hopes. Maybe this week some of you will see some, like, you know, uh, you see something in the future what is quite nice for you when it comes to finances. Uh, maybe, like, something appear in your life. Maybe you thought it's already over and you will never have these possibilities. And suddenly you see that there is some perspective in this, like you finally getting this hope. So don't be, don't have any illusions, please. Don't be confused about anything. Remember that there is something, the Spirit is calling for you, the Spirit giving you a chance to repair something, to fix it and to move forward. Don't judge anyone this week, dear Leos, and have a great week. Bye-bye.